How's it going, Duster Bus Nation? Pavel here from a couple videos back. And, uh, trying to get the bottom end of Marcos' uh, V8 back together. Got a little Duster Bus special for you today. I'm actually on location in sunny El Paso, Texas. Uh, Marcos is Head east toward Vista de Oro Drive. Got some other projects up his sleeve. Should have taken that turn. Um, I'm going to give you a little preview of the next one. So there's an In El a quarter Camino. mile, turn right onto Vista del Sol Drive. He's got an old El Camino at his mom's place, and we happen to be here to visit some family. So we're going to go check it out for him, see the state it's in, how bad is it. i uh, thinking we'd like to drive it back to Cincinnati at some point, but uh, not really sure what, what we've got ourselves in store for. So I've got a bag of random tools from my father-in-law, a thing of shop towels, a hat because it's sunny AF in El Paso as usual. No humidity, but you know, high 90s, over 100s, pretty regularly. So heading over to his mom's place and uh, we'll check this baby out. Biggest challenge is, to be honest, I don't know a lot about pre-fuel injected engines, so assume it's going to have a carburetor, because I doubt it was fuel injected, but I have no idea. I don't even know what year this car is. Looked up a couple used car checklists on the internet. I couldn't find one for rusted out, piece of crap, in your mom's backyard checklist. Uh, but uh, threw, threw some stuff down on paper, checked the hoses, fluids, you know. Is the master cylinder full of sand? I don't know. It might be. This is El Paso. Cables, brake lines, fuel lines. Fuel obviously is going to be trash. I think Marco said this engine was turned over once after the car was bought by his dad, I guess, way back. Not even sure how long ago, but really 20 plus years, I guess, at this point. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be actually really fun. I'm looking forward to this. bed is totally rusted out. Just, yeah, it's covering with a 2x4 might be the right idea. We got an extra, get around here, pane of glass, I guess. This well, looks like a hornet's nest. Jeez. I'm going to be honest, I don't know what's under there. I don't know if I want to know. Oh, nothing. And no rattlesnakes. Bonus. Total do-over back here. Back windshield. Got an impact crack. They epoxied it or something. You can't even feel feel the cracks. So they filled them in with something. Interior. Oof. Man, oh man. Seen better days. I'm not going to be going to the prom in this thing anytime soon. Looks like a battery terminal just hanging down. Tires are just shredded. Talking to Marcos's mom, looks like they tore up the oil pan. She put down all the kitty litter and everything to absorb it all, but that's probably oil. It was kept in a field, I guess, so there's lots of weeds and junk. Surface was, uh, I guess, tarred in order to try and preserve it. Not a technique I'm familiar with. Maybe someone in dust or bust land is. But you see uh, now everything just 
come right off. Same thing down here. That one just wants to peel right off. Interior is, well, it is. They have these these eye hooks up here on the back. And the cap, I guess they were maybe trying to use as tie down points or something. I don't know. Well, let's see if we can get the hood open. Okay, I believe that's the master cylinder AC unit. It's a frigid air. Radiator hose. Doesn't look terrible, actually. Coolant. Well, pretty bad in there. It's leaked a little bit, but you see it just comes right off in your hands. Not sure what that is. And hoses overall are sitting in the El Paso heat aren't too bad. Had to hit the hood joints with WD-40 to get it to close. Had a little bit of a oh shit moment. Or to leave Marcos's car open. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Ah, no rattlesnake. Sweet. I don't know. Filter. I don't know, this is a twin barrel, four barrel, I don't even know, whatever. Yeah. Doesn't look too bad for what it's worth. Drop that in there again. This, uh, I guess that used to go on there. Wiring distributor over there, way in the back. That's going to be fun to get to. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, let's pull the dipstick, see what happens. All right. I think we need to add oil. I guess the bonus is it's not bone dry. I popped the oil cap off. You can see it's got all debris. It wasn't even tight. It wasn't even tight. Um, doesn't look much of anything in there. This must be why Marcos likes to do this. Random wire. Going back to somewhere through that hole over there. They were holding something in with just some wire, lights, connections. Ooh, try and get under there. Belts. I mean, they're not new, but they're not awful. I guess that's. Uh, couldn't tell you what that spring's for. Here, just a rat's nested mystery. Not the cap off. There's fluid in there. I can see some reflections and sloshing around. Your side door won't open. I'm not going to force it. Back end. Okay. So, Pavel, thanks for going and taking a look at that. What do you think? So I think overall the El Camino, uh, obviously it's going to be a passion project. Uh, it's not as road worthy as I was expecting. <laughs> um, the idea of driving it back from El Paso yeah. 
It's like 2,000 miles, something like that. <sighs> Just that first stretch on I-10 where your speed limit is like yeah. 85. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's, that's not, that's not going to go. It, yeah, is, it, yeah. it would be a back road journey um, for sure. So unfortunately, I don't think it's in roadworthy state, but uh, definitely it's got potential. I mean, the matching serials on the engine and the body and everything, I mean, that's, that's key. A 69, it's a classic year, it's an SS. I mean, it's got all the right... It checks all the right boxes in terms of being a desirable car. It'll be cool. It will be. It will be. It'll and be cool. uh, I'm totally down if we need to go down there and you, we actually get it roadworthy. I'll be there. Let's drive it back. Let's take a week or whatever it'll take. And... All right. So, so yeah, I'm going to go down and uh, November, I'm going to go down, I think, the second week of November. And I've, I blocked out the vacation already. I'm going to go down and I'm going to work on it. And I'm going to see how far I can get it. Yep. If nothing else, I can get it to a state where it's going to be easier to, to have a commercial carrier move it. Yeah. Um, so the other downside is even if it was running, it's running, you know, eight miles per gallon or something uh, for a 2,000 mile trip. That would be a little expensive in gas, but it's still going to be <laughs> At like At least that. it's regular, right? That's right. Yeah, it's just regular. That, that's the... <laughs> That's the stretch goal <laughs> is to see if, if I can manage to pull it off, it'll be cool. Uh, yeah. But either way, we're going to start working on it and uh, I'm going to get it up here. Not really though, I do want to say it's not really the right time to, to work on it. I got the duster project that I still have a long way to go on. Um, I still have a lot to learn before I should be taking on a second project. But rather than think about all the reasons not to do it, I mean the one reason you should do it because it's going to kick ass. It's going to be awesome. So. Yeah gonna do it um also need to come up with a cool name for it and for you know the project and everything i'm leaning towards el wapo it's el camino it's you know pretty soon you're gonna have a yeah, plethora of cars a plethora. Your, uh, <laughs> and, and maybe we'll give out some sweaters <laughs> yeah or yeah something. that'd be cool that'd so be cool. lots more to come i will make a separate playlist for all the el camino stuff coming up i think it goes roughly over here um, but you'll see a link for that. Make sure you, um, what is it, subscribe for a playlist? I don't even know. But check that box. Make sure you stay up to date on that stuff. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And, uh, you know, stay tuned. We got some fun stuff coming. See you next time. All right, fun, fun.